We are on the Ferrari stand, which as ever is very busy at the 2018 Geneva Motor Show. And I've had a chat to a lovely chap called Eduardo Rossi, who's told me all about the 488 Pista. Now I'm going to start with the exterior of the car and this extraordinary nose, which is really prominent. And it's basically, it's an aerodynamic S duct, which Ferrari were the first people to bring to F1 with the F2008, I think it was. Um, the idea being helped that it, it brings downforce to the front of the car, which they need to help balance the extra downforce they got in the rear of the car. The 488 has 20% more downforce than the standard 488 GTB. They've also changed the inclination of the radiators in there so that they now vent underneath the car. That's something they picked up from the Challenge car. The idea with that is that it cleans up the airflow and you get more efficient airflow as you come round to the side of the car. You might remember on the standard 488 there was a slap there because they had the intake to the engine and they had the intercoolers. Now it's just the intercooler. Because the engine's gone up in performance, they needed a bigger intercooler. They needed, I think, about 25% bigger. The intercooler's actually only 7% bigger. So how does that work? Well, it's because that airflow is now cleaner going into here, so it's more efficient, so they don't need such a big intercooler. Where has the intakes gone? This is now where the intakes are, so it's actually a shorter route into the engine here, thereby making it more efficient. Elsewhere, well, we've got a bigger, more aggressive rear wing at the back. It actually looks in shape a little bit like the movable one from the Ford GT, but this is obviously static because that's the way Ferrari does things. It's still blown through here. And there's a little lip just here, sort of by the Ferrari prancing horse, which is just in there, if you can see. That apparently adds and helps with the, the upwash and helps increase the aerodynamics here. We've also got the massive great diffuser down here extending all the way out to the edge, which is also another thing from the challenge. I think we should go and um, have a look at the engine, because that's another big part of this car. So this is the 3.9 litre twin turbo heart of the 488 Pista. They're saying it's going to be the most powerful V8 engine Ferrari ever, putting out 710 brake horsepower at 8,000 RPM. 568 pounds foot from 3,000 RPM. Although, of course, they do that amazing thing where they, they ramp up the torque so it feels more like a naturally aspirated engine when you use it. It's, well, it's going to be pretty extraordinary, I'm sure you agree. They're saying a lot of it is coming straight from the 488 Challenge. We've got an Inconel exhaust manifold, we've got lightweight crankshafts, uh, like the flywheel, we've got the pump uh, pilot intake foam, titanium condrods, all helping sort of lower the inertia inside the engine so that it can spin up more freely. We've also got rev sensors on the turbochargers apparently just to help make it so they can, they can really get the best out of the engine as they talk to the ECU. It's got 49 brake horsepower more than the already pretty extraordinary 488 GTB and I think a lot of the 488 is going to hang on how this engine feels and sounds to live up to that amazing naturally aspirated V8 that was in the 458 Speciale. So, Yes, a lot riding on its V8 shoulders. Anyway, let's go and have a sit in the car and chat about some of the numbers that uh, the car actually produces and some of the electronic aids that help this car get around the track faster than ever. So here we are inside the 488 Pista and this is where you want to be, in the, in the driver's seat. Talking of which, the seats, they haven't actually changed quite a lot over the years. They still look sculptural, but they're, they're lovely things. So I'm quite glad they haven't changed. The big carbon fiber paddles, which you recognize, obviously still central rev counter here. Now, when you put the Manatino into race, they're saying that the seven speed dual clutch gearbox, it now has that um, sort of punch you get on upshifts. So it sort of, it doesn't almost interrupt the torque that much. So as the clutch goes in, you get that jolt forward. I'm not sure that that's a brilliant thing. I think Porsche actually got rid of that uh, in some of their GT cars because it wasn't, you know, customers didn't like it. But anyway, we'll see how Ferrari do it. They, they do the best gearboxes in the business in my opinion. So I'm sure they'll get it right. Turn around to CT off. We've now got uh, iteration six of side slip control, uh, which works with the F1 track. And they've also got something called FDE, which is Ferrari Dynamic Enhancement, uh, which works with the brake calipers. And that's it's all part of the side slip control, really. The idea being that obviously they want to make 700 brake horsepower usable for a, as broad a range of customers as possible. So they're saying that. Uh, it won't intervene on the way into corners, it only helps mid-corner and then on the way out uh, just as you're getting back onto the throttle. It should be brilliant because Ferrari has this amazing way of making their electronics seem 
absolutely seamless. So you just you just don't notice them going on the background, no matter how complicated they sound. Numbers, well, 0 to 62 miles an hour in 2.9 seconds. I think it's saying 2.85 seconds actually. Uh, 0 to 124 miles an hour in 7.6 seconds. That's that's basically exactly comparable with uh, McLaren's 720s, which is balmy fast. So this will no doubt feel exactly the same. Lightweight. This car weighs 90 kilos less overall, so it's a dry weight of 1280 kilos. And actually, talking of lightweight, there's one extra thing that I want to show you that you can now spec on your 488 Pista. So let's go and have a look at those. This is Ferrari's first ever carbon fiber wheel. And it weighs 40% less than the standard wheel on a 488 GTB. So yes, turn it the right way up. This is the new must-have option, I think, on a 488 Pista. So let us know what you think of the 488 Pista. Is it going to live up to the 458 Speciale? Are we stupid to keep talking about that car? Should we just move on entirely? Let us know in the comments box below. I'm certainly very excited to drive it.